Welcome into Drew Staley Diamond 4, Friday, August 16, 2024. The weekend starter getting underway now. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. Helps out the algorithm, guys. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we got 640 Eastern start in PNC, as you can see behind me. Starting us off here on Friday, it's the Seattle Mariners in the Pittsburgh Pirates. Paul Skeens going for Pittsburgh, minus 130 home favorite, up against Logan Gilbert and the Mariners, total of seven. Speaking to this great elite pitching matchup here with Logan Gilbert, the 27-year-old out of Stetson, seven innings, just three hits, blanking the Mets his last time out. He's got a sub three ERA, 149 strikeouts on the season. And he's up against the Pittsburgh lineup that just scored three runs their last three games. They've lost 10 straight games right now. So Pittsburgh, they were in that NL wildcard race, not so much anymore. But they still are commanding the 30 cents here as the home favorite. And a big reason why Paul Skeens is on the hill. The number one pick out of LSU just this past season, go Tagus. 15 starts on the season, 6-2, and 2.25 ERA. He's been tough to go against, but... He is off of his worst start of the year. Six innings, six hits, four earned runs given up. So it's not like he got totally blown up. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how he kind of, quote, unquote, bounces back. I actually think this should be more of a pick em price tag, guys. I think, uh, you know, Seattle is a slight bullpen edge as well. But Logan Gilbert, hey, he's been really good. And I think it's almost like a Paul Skeens tax here because he's such a big name. So we'll go the other way. Plus 115. Risk 100 to win 115. That's on the Mariners to lead us off in PNC. Heading to the 7 o'clock Eastern slate up next. Miami Marlins, New York Mets. Rodery Munoz on the hill for the fish. Sean Manaya, the lefty going for the Metropolitans. Minus 230. That's the Mets as the home favorite. Eight in the hook being the total. Miami comes in 31 games under 500, but they've won two of their last three, both as big underdogs. They got Munoz on the hill, the 24-year-old Dominican-born pitcher. He's got good stuff, but he's been blown up a couple times, six ERA and fifth on the season. But the thing here is, you know, they're playing in division. Munoz has seen the Mets twice already this season, both really good starts. Actually combined 11 innings work. Just four hits given up in one earned run in both of those starts, meaning one earned run, you know, combined in both of those. So he's been really good against this Mets lineup. We'll see if he can do it again here, guys. I think he's catching too big of a plus price. And some of the reason being, you know, Sean Manai on the hill for the Mets, he only went five innings, eight hits, eight earned runs with one strikeout against the Marlins just last month. So not missing bats against the, the lineup he's going to be seeing here. And the Mets overall... I mean, we've talked about it a bunch it, because of this travel spot for the Mets going all over the country, coming back home. They actually just dropped two of three to the athletics. So they've lost five of six overall. And I, I think asking them to lay minus 230 here, I think it's too much, guys. Let's go on the big underdog plus 205. That's the Miami Marlins wearing the hat for a reason. We got uh, Chicago White Sox, Houston Astros up next, 8 o'clock Eastern hour. It's Garrett Crochet, the lefty, going for the White Sox. Spencer Arigetti going for the Astros. Minus 190, that's Houston as the home favorite. Eight in the hook being the total. Story here, the White Sox 29-93 and 93 on the season. Yes, you heard that correctly. 29 wins, 93 losses, 238 win percentage. They're just 11-49 and 49 on the road. So playing 60 road games, they've only won 11 of them. They're 2-26 and 26 overall their last 28 games. This is one of the worst teams in Major League Baseball probably all of our lifetime. One of the worst, anyway. They've lost nine straight times. Garrett Crochet's taken the hill. This is a guy with a lot of talent. You know, former first-rounder just a couple years ago out of Tennessee. Big, tall, lefty, throws hard. He's off of his worst start of the year as well. Two, two and a third innings, nine hits, seven earned against the Cubs. And he actually went up against the Astros, so past performance here, six innings, nine hits already this season. So I kind of was looking into this one thinking maybe this would be a time to jump on the White Sox with Crochet on the hill, but I don't think so, guys, particularly because Spencer Arigetti for the Astros, he's been great recently. Three straight quality starts for the 24-year-old at Louisiana Lafayette, the Raging Cajun, throwing the ball well, and the Houston Astros have won eight straight games, so... Hey, ride the hot, fade the cold here. Like to get that minus 190 down a bit. So we'll go on the home team, minus one here. That is the Houston Astros minus one line at home over the White Sox. 
we got 810 Eastern as well. It's the Cleveland Guardians in the Milwaukee Brewers. Number one in the AL Central versus number one in the NL Central here, guys. Gavin Williams on the hill for Cleveland. Aaron Savali going for the Brew Crew. Total of eight, minus 110 to as high as minus 120. That's Cleveland as the road favorite. 72 and 49, having a great season there. The Guardians are. They've won five straight, including Williams' last start. They won two to one over the Minnesota Twins. The first rounder out of ECU, the former Pirate. Six innings, one earned run given up. His last time out in that win over the Twins. Four innings, six earned runs, and two starts ago against the Orioles. Speaking to, you know, he's kind of been up and down a bit. But the the kind of angle I like in this one is the Milwaukee Brewers struggle against starting pitchers that throw with a bunch of velocity, you know, 95 plus. And Gavin Williams, you know, he, he'll throw 97, 98 miles per hour. So I like that matchup. I think Williams has a good start here. He's up against Savali, who's facing his old team. If you remember middle of last season, he got traded from Cleveland. And so this is the first time he's seeing him. He's got a 5 ERA, 5 FIP on the season, decent numbers. But both of these bullpens good. I just think we get a starting pitching edge with that angle. Cleveland's won five straight again. So minus 110, low watermark. I think it's light. Let's jump on Cleveland over Milwaukee. One game left on the Friday slate, the weekend starter. Guys, let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today. It helps out the algorithm. Anything you can throw out there, any questions as well, what you're looking to bet this weekend, all is welcome. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. Check out Premium Picks, wagertalk.com, Drew Martin Experts page. All right, guys, we got uh, last game up here, 840 Eastern time. San Diego Padres, Colorado Rockies in the NL West division battle. Matt Waldron on the hill for the Friars, minus 180 road favorite, total of 11. Cal Quantrill going for Colorado, who's just 44 and 78 on the season. They've lost three straight. They are back at home. If you're looking to bet the Rockies, maybe that's one angle for you. But Quantrill, last time out against San Diego, actually, he had his last start uh, skip due to forearm issues. That's always alarming for me. He went four innings, three earned runs, uh, two strikeouts, and three walks. So more walks than strikeouts against the lineup he's going to be seeing. And the start before that, he only went three innings, seven earned runs, nine hits to the Angels. So his last two starts have not been great. He's kind of uh, a fade, fade city circle here for me. And he's pitching in Colorado up against the San Diego Padres lineup that smashed righties. I think this is going to be a long night for Quantrill. And we get Waldron going for the Padres. Man, he's been good. Uh, he really has. I mean, at times he, he's been hit around a little bit, but that knuckleball has been dancing in his past performance in Coors Field. Just one start, but it was good. He's 1-0, six innings, four hits, one earned run, five strikeouts in that game. He faced uh, he faced Colorado as well just two starts ago. Actually, these two starting pitchers faced off against each other, and he went five and two-thirds, just one earned run with two hits. So better pass performance in that game just two weeks ago. So overall, guys, I mean, the Padres on a 19-3, and three, their last 22, they're 10-1, and one, their last 11. They've won three straight. I'm not stepping in front of the Friars. Listed Matt Waldron as the starter, and we'll do it on the run line. Minus one and a half. Minus 110, that's the Padres, to win over the Rockies by two runs or more. In recap, we got Cleveland, minus 110, over the Brewers. We got the Houston Astros, minus one, at home, over the White Sox. We get the Miami Marlins, plus 205, the big dog barking in City Field. And we get the Seattle Mariners with Logan Gilbert on the hill, plus 115 over the Pirates. Guys, that does it for the Friday show. We'll be back tomorrow on Saturday. Come back and join us. Smash that like button, comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Cash those tickets.